Islamic perspective on the rights of children. Children are enormous blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the joy of our hearts and our childhood, our companions and comfort in our old age, and the only source of dua in our graves. All in all, they are the means by which we earn the fruits of this life and the reward of the hereafter. Children to the Muslims are an honor and a gift. They are trust, amana on the parents, and as such, have responsibilities towards them and stand accountable for them so that they, the parents, can enjoy and appreciate the blessings of having children and get rewarded by the giver. Our beloved Prophet wasallam said, Every one of you people is a shepherd, and everyone is responsible for whatever falls under his responsibility. A man is like a shepherd of his own family and is responsible for them. Rights of Muslim Children Of all systems, Islam stands unparalleled in investing children with rights. Without being exhaustive, the rights of children include rights to noble and charactered parents, rights to nurture and proper upbringing, rights to education, rights to general care and maintenance, rights to protection against torture and maltreatment, good name identity and good lineage amongst others. These rights are invaluable. It is for this reason that the Prophet ﷺ remained outright in exercising the rights of children and firmly indulged the Muslims to follow suit. Thus, Muslims, according to the hadith of the shepherd, should realize that their children will be a source of paradise for them or otherwise, as he will be questioned on them. How much effort did he exert to fulfill their rights, to make them grow up as pious and informed Muslims, charactered, educated, and productive members of the society? The realities regarding the rights of the Muslim child. Our beloved Prophet wasallam said, He is not one of us who does not have mercy for children and respect for elders. Certainly many today have ignored this hadith as violation of the rights of children, has been palpable due to the relaxed and indifferent habits that certain parents exhibit with regards to the rights of their children. First of the violation is neglect. Neglect occurs when the child's basic needs are not being met. Physical neglect may involve inadequate food, clothing, shelter, medical care, and protection from harm. Emotional neglect occurs when the child's needs to feel loved, wanted, safe, and worthy is not met. Secondly, children have become constant victims of physical, emotional, and sexual abuses. Physical abuse is a deliberate use of force against a child which results or may result in bodily harm. Therefore, behaviors such as fierce shaking, choking, biting, kicking, and burning should be prevented and stopped. Verbal threats, intimidation, exploitation, or making unreasonable demands of a child, sexual exploitation, voyeurism, touching of the child's genitals, and so on, amount to emotional and sexual abuses, respectively, which can never be justified whether as for disciplinary reasons or cultural tradition. The Prophet ﷺ never condoned child molestation, abuse, or maltreatment. Ibn Masamud radiallahu anhu related that, Once I flogged a boy thereupon, I heard a voice from my back. When I turned back, I heard the Prophet wasallam saying, O oh, Ibn Masamud, know that Allah is more able to punish you than you are with this boy. Therefore, let us realize that violation of rights and maltreatments have short and long-term repercussion and are grave and damaging. Causes of maltreatment and violation of children's rights. Ignorance of the rights, exercising free will in ways contrary to Islamic law concerning the rights of children, indiscipline by parents, as parents who smoke, drink alcohol, and are promiscuous, are more easily disposed to violating their children's rights. Solutions. Parents can better safeguard their children's rights by seeking more knowledge about the rights planning adequately for their upkeep according to their means, keeping them close to them, as it has been asserted that most maltreatment of children happen from the people close to them, other than their parents or relatives.